a rise in the London living wage, benefiting some of the lowest paid in the capital. But how much will it help in this cost of living crisis? It would be nice if it was a little bit higher, but um, I guess this is, this is good. It's going to mean that I know I can go home and spend the little bit of extra money that we get on something that's not basic needs or necessities. Also on the programme. Breaking traffic or parking rules. The London Borough, where for a year every penalty fine challenged was overturned. We find out why. Plus. <music> Simply the best. The scheme ensuring every child gets the chance to experience the magic of theatre. Lots of pressure to be performing for the kids today because, <laughs> um, you know, the fact that a lot of them probably might not have seen any theatre before. And going on a journey into the viral game, testing our knowledge of the Tube Network. How well do you know the capital stations? Police are appealing for help to find a man from South London who they believe may have come to harm. 34-year-old Justin Henry was last seen on CCTV at a McDonald's drive through in Croydon nine days ago. His family say it's out of character for him not to have made contact. The decision to deprive Shamima Begum of her British citizenship was unlawful, the Court of Appeal has heard. Uh, she was 15 and still at school when she left Bethnal Green to join the Islamic State group in Syria eight years ago. Her lawyers say she should be treated as a victim of child trafficking. The hearing is set to conclude on Thursday. And three Just Stop Oil protesters who briefly stopped play during an Ashes test at Lord's Cricket Ground have been sentenced to 12 months community order and banned from Lord's. The demonstrators threw paint, orange powder paint, during the match between England and Australia in June.